came from Nagpur. I want to ask you one question about Vedas. Because I believe Vedas are main scripture of Hinduism. So I want to know if you are telling or putting a common point which is similar to other scripture, why you do not put different points in front of non-Muslim people which are contradictable or which are opposite to each other. Because I believe in common point as a being a Hindu girl, it is very important to know which are the common point and which are the different points in Hinduism scriptures. Sisters asked a very good question. She said that I quoted the Vedas, I did point out similarities. Why don't I speak about differences? And she wants to know the similarities as well as differences. Sister, if I can give a talk on similarities between Islam and Hinduism for a few hours, I can give a bigger talk and a longer talk on differences between Islam and Hinduism. But the reason I choose to speak about similarities because that is the advice given by my Creator Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the Quran. In Surah Al-Imran, chapter number 3, verse number 64, which says, Kul ya hilal kitab. Say, O people of the book, Ta'alo ila kalimatin sawa in bayna baynakum. Come to common terms as between us and you. Which is the first term? Allah na'abda illa Allah. That we worship none but Allah. Wala nushika bihi shayyam. That we associate no partners with him. Wala yatta khitha baad dun abad dun arbaab in mundin illah. That we erect not among ourselves lords and patrons other than Allah. Fa in tawallah. If then they turn back. Fa kulu shadu. Say ee bear witness. Be anna muslimoon. That we are muslims bowing our will to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This verse of the Quran shows us a way how to speak with different kinds of people. Come to common terms as us and you. Which is the first term? The most important term is Allah, na'udha illallah. That we worship none but one Almighty God. Regarding differences, sister, I can give a talk for hours together about differences. Not that I can't. But it will bring animosity. Maybe it will hurt the feelings of someone. That we may be forced to do during a debate. When there is a debate, for example, I had a debate with a person by the name of Dr. William Campbell. Have you heard that talk, sister? Yeah, I have seen your videos. Ha. So that talk was talking about differences between Christianity and Islam. Why? He wrote a book saying there are 30 scientific errors in the Quran. And for eight years, no Muslim replied. In USA, it became a hot seller. So the students of US, they called me and we had a dialogue. The topic was Quran and Bible in the light of science. Whatever allegations he had against the Quran, I replied to all. I posed 38 points from the Bible, which is against science. He could not reply to any. So in a debate, I may have to do that. If I have a debate with a Hindu scholar who says that Vedas are completely with science. So then I can talk about the unscientific thing. But if I talk about differences, maybe you may feel offended. So if you want to go on a higher level, surely, you can ask queries at IRF, we'll give you all the things. But in public, I personally don't want to talk about contradiction unless someone forces me. Not that we aren't aware. But if you know the similarity, what I'm telling you, let us agree to follow what is common. So what I tell the people, what is common in the Vedas, in the Bible, in the Quran? Let everyone agree that at least one book is the word of God. Hindus will say, Veda is the word of God. Christians will say, Bible is the word of God. Muslims will say, the Quran is the word of God. I tell them a thing which everyone wouldn't mind agreeing. Let us agree to follow what is common. So when you follow the commonalities in the Vedas, in the Bible, in the Jewish scriptures, Talmud, in the Quran, we find all the scriptures say there's one God. All the scriptures say the last and final messenger, Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. So I'm asking you, sister, why don't you believe in one God? I want to ask you the question, sister. Do you believe there's one God? Yeah, I believe in one God. Do you believe? And do you believe, sister, that the last and final messenger is Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him? Just because I am asking you the question, because it is very difficult to uh, understand uh, Quran and Vedas. And I am so much confused which uh, scripture is more important for me to uh, achieve uh, to the God. I mean, sister, to worship sister, to the God. Have you heard my lecture? on similarities between Islam and Hinduism or yeah. Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam in the Hindu scriptures. Have you heard that? Yeah, I have heard. Do you know that your scriptures say that the last and final messenger is Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him? Yeah. Do you know that? Yeah. So do you believe Prophet Muhammad is the messenger of God? Yeah, definitely. Do you believe? Yeah. So if you believe there's one God and you believe that idol worship is prohibited and if you believe 
that Prophet Muhammad is the last messenger. In Arabic, we call you as a Muslim. <laughs> Sister, do you believe in one God? Yeah, I believe in one God. Do you believe there's no idol worship? Yeah. Do you believe that Almighty God has got no images? Yeah. You believe that? Yeah. And you also believe that Prophet Muhammad is the messenger of God. So what you have entered, you may not have gone very high, but by saying this, that there's no God but Allah, and Prophet Muhammad is the messenger, you indirectly become a Muslim. Muslim means a person who submits his will to God. So do you submit your... But I am indirectly Muslim, no? If uh, Veda is telling the same yes. thing and uh, Quran telling the same thing. So yes. which... If you are indirect also, no problem. Indirect also, you are most welcome. Whether you come direct or indirect, we welcome you, sister. Now, you know what is coming. Now, if your Veda says that the last and final messenger is Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, and you have to follow him. So by following Prophet Muhammad, you are indirectly following the Vedas also. Then you have to find out what did Prophet Muhammad say. Then you have to read the Hadith. But slowly, slowly. So now you're in nursery, then junior KG, then senior KG, then first standard, then you'll reach standard 10. But have you taken admission, I want to know? That do you agree that you're a Muslim? Muslim means a person who submits his or her will to God. Why it is important that the person who are uh, believing in one God, uh, he is called or she is called a Muslim? Yes, why? Muslim means a person who submits his will to God. And the first important creed to submit your will to God is believe there is one God, believe there is no idol worship, and believe Prophet Muhammad is the messenger. If you say this, that means you have agreed to submit. And then it takes time. Then you go to standard one. Then slowly you may know what is required about fasting, about charity, not to rob, not to steal. All this comes later. But do you agree to submit your will is important. And do you agree to follow the teachings of Prophet Muhammad is important. What I want to ask you, sister. Yeah, I agree. So would you like to say the Shahada? Shahada means would you like to say in Arabic that there is no God but one God and Prophet Muhammad is the messenger. Yeah, there is a one God and uh, the Pro Prophet Muhammad is the last Prophet. MashaAllah. MashaAllah, sister. Congratulations. I would just say it in Arabic and I want you to repeat it. You know, what you have said is the same thing. But I want to ask you, sister, is anyone forcing you to say this? No, no one. Is anyone putting pressure? No. It is completely out of your free will? Yeah. Okay, sister. I say in Arabic, just repeat it. Ashadu. Ashadu. Allah. Allah. Ilaha. Ilaha illallah illallah wa ashadu wa ashadu anna anna muhammadan muhammadan abduhu abduhu wa rasuluhu wa rasuluhu i bear witness i bear witness i bear witness that there is no god that there is no god but allah but allah and prophet muhammad and Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, peace be upon him, is the servant, is the servant, and messenger of Allah, and messenger of Allah. MashaAllah. Thank you. I congratulate you, sister. Now we have entered the fall of Islam, and inshallah, for getting more knowledge, for going to first standard, second standard, third standard, be in touch with the sisters of the Islamic Research Foundation, and it will be a pleasure to guide you. And if you have any queries, regarding Quran, regarding Islam, you're most welcome to ask. If you have any queries even regarding Hinduism, yeah. etc., most welcome, sister. And I pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that may he grant you Jannah, sister.